Yo, dog. We know why them. There's no Another video. This is Get Ready With Me Miami Carnival 2017. So today I'm doing things a little different and if you notice I'm in a little bit of a setup and it is a hot mess over here right now because I am trying to get ready. So do bear with me and my mess. But not only do I just want you guys to come with me as I get ready, but I want to give you guys some tips and information that's going to make Carnival a lot easier for you. So the first thing we're going to do is get creative. So usually when you play mass they give you some kind of bag. Um, and in that bag contains your cups or your whatever is you might need to get your drinks in. They give us these. I don't like these. I think they're a waste of time. You get drinks, you dance, they spill out. People drip their sweat in them. They're disgusting. So a couple years ago, I was playing with the same band and they gave me one of these. I'm going to go ahead and use this one again. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and jazz it up a little bit. So um, last year... I played in another section with them and over time some of the beats started to fall off so I just decided to go ahead and take those off and go ahead and decorate my cup. So I do have my E600, this glue is everything, it makes everything stick. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little stick around and just get some of these diamonds popping. cute and fun just stuck some diamonds on that bad boy so the next thing you want to do is make sure that you prepare your skin like sunblock is everything it's super hot out and you don't want to get burnt and trust me it's possible you also want to do some kind of protective style I went ahead and did some flat twists mainly because as much as I like having my hair out and being big and cute in pictures my hair gets caught up in the stones and the bees and the feathers and it's just not a good look when I'm trying to bend over and dance and my hair is stuck in my back piece. So this right here is um, my Ion Purifying Solutions. I've been using this for years. This is a um, pretty much like a sunblock for your hair. It protects hair from sun, chlorine, and salt water. It's 100% vegan and paraben, and paraben free. And this is going to save your scalp and your hair from some of that heat damage because you guys know the sun is the hottest thing out there. So another important thing that you want to make sure that you do is you want to drink a lot of water. You have to stay hydrated, especially if you're not going to be eating like you're supposed to be and you're going to be drinking mad alcohol. Drink up. So some other things that I want to tell you guys about that um, is super important before I go ahead and start getting ready is that you want to take care of your feet, okay? You're going to be on your feet all day for a very, very, very long time. So you want to go out and get you some art supports for your shoes. You want to put on some shoes that you know are going to be comfortable for you. Because you could be on your feet from anywhere to 6 to 8 to 10 to 12 hours. Jamming whole day and nobody has time for blisters and corns and calluses so definitely make sure that you take care of that now i'm not going to show you guys how i do my makeup because i'm not a makeup artist and i don't need y'all judging me on my crazy tactics so i'm going to go ahead and get my face together and i will be back in just a moment <clears throat> i want to talk to you guys about fishnet stockings and how important they are for life these things right here are everything. I tend to like them because they hold everything in together and they make you look nice and tight, okay? Some people don't like them. I prefer them. But the thing with these is, I got to be honest with you, you have to put socks underneath them. Because if you do not put socks underneath your fishnets, your toes are going to find their ways to slide on through and it's going to become very uncomfortable. Trust me, I have definitely figure that out the hard way i also have these i call these my toe socks these are these things i think they're made for corns but they have this gel inside and you put it on the outside of your well you put on your pinky toe and it kind of stops all the rubbing and the friction so i'm gonna go ahead and put these on put my socks on on top of those then put my fishnets on and then throw my costume on all right, so I'm back and I am dressed and we need to have a really quick conversation about some panty liners. Let me tell y'all something. If you want to have a camel toe that is visible and that's cool with you, 
sure go for it do your thing boo my preference is to put on underwear under my costume because to be honest with you you do not want raw fishnet rubbing on your vagina that is not okay and that is not comfortable so i put on the smallest pair of underwear i can find make sure that i tuck and roll and push whatever i need to be pushed into wherever it needs to go and ladies wear the panty liner this right here will help soak up all that extra sweat going on down there and it will give it a smooth surface so your vagina is not like hey y'all you don't really want that i don't think that is cute but hey some of you guys are here for it so now that i do have my swimsuit on um i do want to show you guys some fun things that i have now um the thing is with carnival like you're outside in the sun all day you have personal belongings and nowhere to put them so i went ahead and i got this really cute little fanny pack on Amazon I will go ahead and post a link for it above and it is plastic so here I can put my phone my car keys my ID and a little bit of change in case I want to eat after now carnivals are usually all-inclusive but once you get to the end of that parade route like you're still gonna be hungry you're probably gonna want something to eat you're probably gonna want to buy some water or whatever because by the end of the parade there might not be much left I also purchased this right here which is a sun visor and I absolutely love it I wish I could have got it in in a more iridescent color but i'm totally fine with it i told you guys about protecting your head and your face i tend to get sunburned all the time and i'm not here for it um i do have a headpiece it wasn't ready when i went to pick up my costume so i'm gonna pick it up today but it's really simple it's some horns and I hopefully i should be able to fit it over this visor here so i'm gonna go ahead oh, and get my visor on and comfortable like so and now that I have this on um, I'm pretty sure my headpiece goes here so I should be able to do all of this together I'm gonna go ahead and put my stones on so I'm pretty organized I separate all my stones in color so here I have some blues and I also purchased some black stones I'm not gonna do anything too dramatic but I'm gonna probably just do some down the sides of my face I do have my earrings did I get any earrings this year? No, this is just arm piece and leg piece. But I do have my earrings from last year, so I'm just going to go ahead and wear these because they kind of match my cup and my fanny pack. Do I want lashes? I think I'm going to put some lashes on too. So I'm going to do some lashes and I'm going to go ahead and get the stoning of my face. So if you're going to use face stones like these, you can get these at Joanne. I bought a whole bunch of them on Amazon and I just keep them. Like I have a bag full of different colors for all the different carnivals I've been to. You want to get this right here. It's called Spirit Gum and this right here will keep them stones on your face whole day. True sweat, anorene and it just, this is amazing right here. So get you some Spirit Gum. I shall return with eyelashes. <clears throat> Alright, so the lashes that I use today are the Ardell Professional Foam Mink Luxur Luxurious Lightweight with Invisiband. I got these in my Sally Beauty box. These are amazing. They're super lightweight. They don't feel heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put on some liner and then we're going to get to start. Alright, so I'm back. So I'm going to go ahead now and separate some of these stones for gluing. Here is my I might actually do one side of my face. I think that's kind of become my thing which is, you know, I'm starting to create lots of things. <laughs> um, I'm here for it. You want to stand out. You want to look good and you want to look hot in the pictures. That's really all that matters. So, let's do it. So, with the spirit gum, you literally just need a drop on each stone and you want to move quick because it does dry pretty fast. But the thing is, um, you want it to get a little tacky, like it has to be, you can't just put it on straight when it's wet on your face. So you want to work quick and you want to try not to stick your fingers and try not to get the stone stuck all over your fingers. So I'm just going to use this and literally put a little drop. Oh crap. You see? Don't do that. Oh crap. Now I'm going to have glue all over the place. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use this is a drop blow it for a couple seconds stick the stone on and keep it moving bam so now i've got my face together i'm gonna just leave this one side just put one more stone 
Um, I think I'm gonna take my jewelry off. Probably leave my rings on. But I think I'm ready to go, y'all. Now, I hope you guys put sunscreen on your face as well. Because let me tell you, this right here is gonna leave a horrible tan. And you know that. But overall, I'm here for it. Let me go ahead and add some more um, highlight. This is Rihanna's Match Sticks Trio. Caramel, rum, and truffle. Let me go ahead and give myself a little bit more. Uh-oh, I lost a star. Just hold on. Where did you go? How did you fall off already? Yeah. Well, if you're not dry, because you will lose some on the way. If you don't have spare gum, you can actually use um, eyelash glue, but I don't really like it because I don't feel like it works all that well. And last but not least, I'm going to use this matte finish spray. <clears throat> Let's hope that we stay together. I didn't even brush my eyebrows today. You guys know I've been microbladed, so I didn't even need to worry about them, but they are looking a little rough. But anyway, guys, I'm going to insert photo and video. Thank you guys for rocking with me today. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys very soon.